Hello, I'm Rachel Lene, a fractal personality designed to be your guide. Just listen to me and you won't get yourself killed. Probably. I'm new at this too. Any landing you can away from is a good one, eh? Welcome to the Genesis Simulation. Here you'll be tested across five biomes, each with its own dangers and rewards. I'll be with you every step of the way. Interact with me when you want to teleport from one biome to another, or when you want to spend some of the hexagons you'll earn for complete missions. Those missions are how the simulation tests you, how you prove you're the ultimate survivor. First though, we have some exploring ahead of us. Ready to go and walk about? Everybody, this is Red Specs Gaming, and welcome to Arc Genesis. So, because we are currently doing the work from home, stay at home thing, I got a little bit ahead on my recordings of Minecraft, and um, I thought it'd be a good time to maybe try to introduce something new to the channel. Um, Arc has always been one of them games that I've really, really loved um, in a single player PVE uh, range, I guess I should say. So, this is a single player game by myself that I just started and it's gonna be a bit modded we use we use some um, quality of life mods that'll uh, make some of the more annoying things in arc easier um, this will be kind of a builder centric uh, game I'm thinking because it, there's a lot of really cool spots throughout the different biomes in this game that I could see different bases and we'll probably that'll probably be the aim of this game is to you know set up some really cool bases and some neat areas and uh, see how that looks maybe check out all the challenges this uh, version of art comes with a whole bunch of like quest challenges and different things like that and um, you know kind of just see how it goes so I'll probably what I'll do is I'll put this video up this week and um, we'll see how it does in about a week's time and if it doesn't do so great then we'll we'll skip it um, but I was thinking you know a, a different series alongside the Minecraft stuff that I'm doing as well to kind of you know diversify the channel a little bit so with that said let's get started and play some arc so i have played this version of arc before we were playing on a server with some friends and um that kind of fell away pretty quick which tends to happen with servers and uh decided you know, hey, I'll come play it single player because I was enjoying it and I would like to, you know, keep going. But obviously with that server going down, that couldn't continue. So we'll do it ourselves. So as I said, this is going to be, you know, a modded server or a modded game, I should say. Um, and I don't know if we can see the mod list. Um, no, we can't see the mod list that I know of from outside. I'll, I'll show you guys later. But we're using, of course, like S+. Plus. And we're using um, some stuff called HG, which basically gives you boxes that uh, will auto-sort and pick your stuff up and kind of put it away for you. We're using a stacking mod because I'm not a fan of encumbrance at all. So we are stacking, I think, 10,000 stacks or 10,000 high with 90% weight reduction. Um, we're using a dino tracker mod to help find our dinos when we need to. We're using... Um, uh, looking glass mod that removes the blackout and kind of gives you more information when you look at things. And we're using Dino Storage mod, which basically uh, does away with the need for even having the cryopods because you basically get they're called soul balls. So and it's a lot a lot easier. There's no power needed. Um, there's no cryo sickness. None of that stuff that you got to deal with. So yeah, it's basically a bunch of quality of life stuff. And we'll be using S plus heavily. Um, the, the big thing from HG uh, that I'm sure some people will say is OP is that with HG you have a seed crafter and that means that you can craft seeds for a lot of things that are hard to get. So like crystal, for example, we can start growing our own crystal. Uh, tech is another one. We'll be able to grow our own element um, and things like that. So yeah, okay. It can be a little overpowered sometimes, but you know, hey, whatever. So we're also running with five times collection three times experience um, and you can see we're already up to level five from all this collection we've been doing I always start out with movement speed it's because you're gonna need 
that and we're running with the auto unlock because I don't like having to click all the things so you'll notice anytime we level up it'll it'll learn everything at that level so I'm just going to raise the movement speed for now because even though we started here in the ocean biome which is listed as the hard biome it's actually the easiest place to, to start and survive because you can as long as you don't go down into the water there's lots of supplies on these on these, uh, I guess you call them mesas or whatever they are, these islands that stick up out of the ground. You can build your base on these, um, and it makes it just a very easy place to uh, to live and start. And so what we're going to do is we're going to teleport, actually, because there's a good spot to build a base here. And we're going to say, hey, teleport me in the ocean to the south. And um, on my server game, we were living in the north, but the south actually had some metal resources that were really close that'll be nice to have for farming when it's time to start collecting metal. And so she'll teleport you for free. All you have to do is tell her where you want to go. The only problem is, is in a lot of these biomes, when you come through the other side of the teleport, you'll a lot of times be getting jumped by something right away. So you want to find where the, where the easy, the safest places to teleport are. And we're going to, um, and I think on this, Coordinates confirmed. Teleport all right, complete. let's look. Chances are we were already in the south. And you see my map is, is pretty heavily uncovered because of playing on the server, so I kind of know what the areas look like. So I think this is okay. This is a good teleport place. Let's look around and see if there's a, if we can level this out, if we can, because it'll be a nice, I like having the teleport as a, as a base area, because then you can kind of pretty much just load up with stuff and then teleport home real fast. So I think this will work for us. Um, we're going to definitely need some stone, though. I don't think we've found any stone, have we? No. So that's the only problem with the ocean biome is the start of it is hard because you can't get some stone. Um, unless you can get lucky and find one. Like, you'd think that I could pick that up, but no. Um, get a little bit of stone will be okay because we can start breaking apart the boulders. Let's look around and see if we can find... You're teasing me with all these stones that I can't pick up. Um, let's go ahead and move some berries into my zero slot for food. So as we get hungry, we can eat. Um, hmm. Do I want to risk the water? There might be stones by the base of the water, so let's let's risk it. Wee! But there might also be electric eels in a giant friggin' whirlpool. Oh man, get away. Get away, Whirlpool. This probably was a mistake going down in here. Um, keep our eyes open for eels. They're the biggest threats right now to me. Mm. Those Whirlpools open up on the ocean all the time. And they're kind of frightening. Um, yeah, okay, so jumping down here was probably a mistake. But that's okay. Let's find our way to a beach somewhere. There's a shark over there. If we can get over here, we can teleport back up. So let's hop up here real quick. Boom. So there we go. And um, let's actually jump into a different biome real fast, and then we can probably get some stone and, and teleport back, and we'll be all right. So I'm actually going to go to the Arctic biome, and we're going to go to the, I think it's the northeast. Teleport ready. That starts you out by a salmon pond, which is a great place to get um, prime fish when you need it. But there should be lots of stones on the ground I can grab, and then we can teleport out of there before we freeze to death. You just need a few stones to get started. Um, don't listen to what they say about the, uh, the bog being the easy biome, because the bog is horrible to start out in. That is just a death loop waiting to happen. Yeah. And we don't want to be here long because it will be really, really cold. Get some stones and get out of here. That would be ideal. Just a couple of stones to get us started. Alright, here, here we, we go. Are. Right on target. Grab stones. Perfect. Perfect. I think we got enough here. Alright, let's not risk wolves. This is not the spot I thought we were supposed to be going to, so let's get out of here quick. Back to the ocean, please. And let's go south. Time to you can see we're already ice cube cold there. And we're losing health by the seconds. Hurry, hurry, hurry. Let's go with the, bot, with the teleport. We're already down off the top of the plus sign there. 
All we need is a wolf to come running out of the brush right now, and then that'll be the end of us. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Do it. Boom. So we lost half of our health in that short of time being in the Arctic naked like that. Um, Arctic is totally doable, but you got to go prepared. Coordinates confirmed. Here. complete. So we're here. Let's eat some berries to get that health back up if we can. I got to level up. And let's see about making us a tool. I'm going to go ahead and raise our stamina too, because stamina is going to be important. All right, and now we have a pickaxe. And we can get real stone. Um, these are salt pillars, but they also drop massive amounts of stone when you're using a hatchet. But they'll work for now. So we're going to uh, clear this area off a little bit and get us started with some base action. Have a place to store stuff. All right. Let's go movement speed again. I think I want to get that up to like 120. All right, and then can we make a hatchet? Um, where's a hatchet? Can't make that because we need some flint. Okay, well flint's easy enough if you hit a regular boulder like this. You get using the pickaxe, you'll get flint. Let's get grab that, and then let's make us a hatchet real quick. Where are you at again? There we go. And we're going to start building something to throw all this stuff down soon. Boom. It is going to start getting dark, so I would like to get the start of a base going. Just cut a bunch of wood real fast. And then I want to look for a good flat area to build at. And you see we're just leveling really quickly at the beginning here, which is good, because we get them st stats up. I wonder if that was where we built, where they built. I'm not sure. This looks like kind of a squat little top of an island right here, doesn't it? But you know what? This will work for the start of this. So let's um let's clear this little, little area right here out of trees. And... Um, and I'll pick up all the brush and the rock and stuff, and then we'll be ready to go. So I'll be back as soon as I get that done. Alright, so we cleared off a good portion of this, picked up everything that was here. Got a nice flat area to work with here. Um, I don't think we can make stone uh, stuff yet. We cannot. Okay, so we're going to stick with wood for now, but we're just going to put down a temporary base because I'm not sure we're going to live on this bluff particularly. Anyways, we'll see. We'll see how it goes. But the first thing, I put everything in this box here. You'll notice, except for a lot of this stuff here. We'll, but we're going to have a place for this all in a minute. And we put down a S-plus torch. Now, the good thing about the S-plus standing torches is that they don't actually require fuel. And you can go into the settings. And you can tell them to enable on and off. And they'll automatically come on uh, at night and go off during the day. You can set all of that. I just have this one off, and the reason I did that was because I would lose this box in the brush while it was cleaning, so that kind of marked where it was. So, uh, the other thing, if you've never used S Plus before, is you have what's called cloud pulling. So these buttons at the top are the cloud pull buttons, and um, when you're in a, any kind of container, the buttons on the right would be for that container, and the buttons on the left are always for your personal inventory. So. What we're going to do is we're going to come into crafting, and we're going to do foundation. And I'm going to pull enough for four of these uh, square foundations, if we can carry the weight. we got enough for two. And see, if you press that button there, it pulls, with that highlighted, it pulls everything you need right in there. And so we can craft these two, probably all the weight that we could carry at the moment. Also, you'll notice we got up to level 20 through all that collection. There's 21. Um, and I'm going to keep pushing my movement speed. At the beginning, that's going to be important for us, getting away from things. All right, and then we've got two foundations here. We're going to start probably, it's going to be a temporary base anyway, so we'll just, we just need a two by two to put our stuff and to live in. So there's that, and then we can do two more real quick. Let's do another two foundations. These. Two. 
And we're going to craft those. And we're probably not even going to put walls on this just yet. Because another one of the mods that we have in here is uh, Echo Stable Mod. And I'm a big fan of the way that looks for uh, housing. So we'll probably be building with a lot of that. All right. All right. So now we got a 2x2. Two two. Now, for one of the other mods that I really, really like, that I recommend, um, is called HG. HG containers. And so these are all the HG containers. And these things are really cool because... They make collection and sorting just a breeze, especially if you live with someone like my wife who just puts stuff in any box that she wants. This With this, she doesn't have to worry about it. She just throws stuff on the ground, and I'll show you what I mean. So we're going to start with a basic HG resource storage box. It is fiber thatch and wood. Not a big deal. We can pull enough for that. We'll craft that. And then we'll put this guy down real quick. There's another level. It goes really quick at the beginning. It starts slowing down later on, but the first ones are really fast. All right, and so we're going to put this guy, like, right here, I think. Which way is north? I think that way is north, so actually, let's put it over here. We'll just put it right here, okay? And it looks like a regular box, except for if you do this and you go to collect mode, it lists all the things resource wise that you might collect right and there might be a few things missing here i think the the uh developer's kit hasn't come out yet for them to update the mods i think that's coming soon but for me i just did it set it to generic resources and then you notice a picture appears and it's like all of the generic resources all right once that's set you tell this that this box now knows what he's picking up he's picking all that stuff up and then if you go into the box and you hit the button that says start pickup right What'll happen is you get a little red light that should flash on one of the corners. Um, where's the red light? Where are you at, red light? Might be hard to see it out here. Let me see if I can turn this off real quick. There it is. So you see that little red light there? That's like I am picking stuff up now. All right. Where's the torch? All right. And then what you can do is while you're when you when you're collecting resources and you get back to the base you can just throw that on the ground right so we're just gonna hit O we're gonna throw all this on the ground and then you'll see in a second it disappears and now if we look inside here he picked it up and so that makes sorting really easy And the good thing about this is depending on what your stack limits are and stuff like that you can have a whole bank of these each picking its own resource up and it just basically sorts everything out for you because it's just me here one and we're using 10k high stacks one should be fine so that should be really good for us and if you look at the range you can see how far away it is that you can throw stuff down and he'll pick it up so this would allow us to pretty much just clear the entire uh, island here we put that more center and then he should be in range to pick everything up so that'll that'll hide itself there we go so what we're going to do then is we're going to uh, get rid of you, you, you. I'm just tossing everything out on the ground for it to go into that box. And then we're going to set up two more HG containers. We do HG again. And we do this. This is the seed crafter. But it also works um, for seeds and, and berries. And so we're going to get that. We're going to craft two of those real quick. One and two, and we're gonna put those guys down here next to this guy. So if we set one of these here, and then one of them right here, and then we're gonna set this one, if you do the collect mode, to base seeds, and we're gonna set this one, collect mode, to bingleberry, which is basically base berry. And if you open that up and tell it to start pickup, you open this up and you tell it to start pickup. They both now should have the little red light flashing on them, which I don't know where it's showing, but it is there somewhere. And if we just start tossing the rest of this stuff down, all these berries and seeds that we've been looting will get picked up by it. And we'll do get into this guy and do the same thing. Just all the berries and seeds, throw them on the ground. But hey, it's morning. And then we can pick up this. Oh, interesting. That's interesting. 
Um, so let's pick up the storage box. Normally I have the music off when we're playing, but I didn't realize they had these the morning stinger like that. That's pretty cool. And then we'll put this. This is an S plus box. This is just for random stuff that we might want to put in it. And so now we've got a nice little storage section going here. Um, past this, what we're going to need to do is probably go out to another zone because we're going to need some meat and we're going to need some hide. So let's look at some spears. We're going to need weapons and those are going to require flint, fiber, and wood. And I'm going to make three of these because these are notorious for breaking. Let's craft all three of those. And let's also fully repair our tools before we go. Good thing about this is you can put a tool here and then there's this little button right here. And what this does is it says, hey, whatever you have highlighted, pull enough to repair that item. So if we hit that button, now we can repair this. And that'll give us that. And I think our pickaxe is fine. There's that. So I'm thinking we need to go to the swamp as much as I don't like that idea. So, oh, hey, by the way, if you say hello to her like this, she gives you free hexagons. And she does that every couple of minutes. So keep an eye on that. Hexagons, if you go into your exchange, Good day, are a way Here's what I've got. in Genesis to buy things that you don't have, right? So we could buy some hide if we wanted to. That might not actually be a bad idea. Um, but we're going to need meat too. Food's going to become a problem. Let's go ahead and buy some hide. That is 30 hexagons. We had 600 because I said hello to her twice now. And that'll give us 50 hide. Let's buy 100 hide. Alright, and then the reason we're going to do she that is we're going to make a few items with that. Um, can we do bolas yet? Bola? We can. All right, let's pull enough for five bolas. Oop. We're going to craft five bolas. And we should probably get some clothes on, too, I'm thinking. So let me put this into older view. Easier to look at. And then we go into armor. Cloth. Um... All right, let's pull enough for one of each of these. So give me some shoes. Give me uh, hand wraps, I guess. Gloves, but they look like hand wraps. Give that. Give me some pants. Anytime now, come on. And then give me a hat. There go. And that's basically just pulling everything out of this box over here. So you don't have to carry all that stuff around all the time. It makes crafting and, and, and basically existing so much easier. I'm sure many of you are like, man, I've been playing ARK so long, I know all this. But, you know, for those that maybe don't play modded ARK, it might be new. We'll leave the rest of that there. And now, now we run the risk of seeing if we can make it through. So biome transportation... Let's go to the bog. Actually, one more thing before we go to the bog. Uh, torches. The bog is notorious for the bug swarms. And the best way to combat them are torches. So we're going to craft three of those real quick so we can deal with that. Um, and I'm not really sure where a safe place to teleport into the bog will be. So we'll try a spot and see if we die. We probably will. All right, and let's go stamina one more. There we go. So right now we're looking at 20 more points of health. We've got 60 more stamina. Our weight's up 20. Our movement speed is up 18%. So wish me luck. We're going to put these torches here. All right, you. Let's do it. Biome teleportation to the bog. Mm, east. Let's see. So here's where we die. Because going through a teleport is always risky business. And I don't think in the bog I'd, I know of a, a really safe spot to teleport in. I don't think any place is really safe in the bog. But we'll see what happens. Teleport. Now 
is when I get tense. You see my face, I'm gritting my teeth. Uh, come on, let me through. Let me through. Oh god! See, just like that. Running, 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 running. Nope, get off the rock. Get off the rock. And that's what happens when you come in through a teleport half the time. Oh no, he's still on there. He's still coming. We're gonna see if we can leave him behind real quick. Nope, he's still coming. Oh god, he's still coming. Keep running. Trying to leave him behind here. Without running into something new. Alright, we're gonna go up here for the moment. Let's see if this is safe. Eat some berries to heal. Oh, there's a raptors. Oh, we gotta move. The bog is so not the peaceful place that they like to play it up. Oh, it's the easy start. No, it isn't. No, it isn't. Alright, so, right here. Get our bearings for a moment. Ooh, okay. This is why I never start in the... You're cool looking. He kind of looks like a... Like one of those Mr. Body models. With the skin removed. Never actually tamed one of those before. Alright, we're okay. We're in the bluff. We're up here. Let's see. What we really want to find is some small animals that we can kill for uh, meat and hide. I mostly just need some meat and hide. So let's look around. The bog is very pretty. It's just very, very dangerous. Alright, so we're up on a little cliff area. We'll have to get off of this, though. Stupid sauropods. Hey, look, it's a Theomia. I haven't seen a Theomia yet in this mod, or in this DLC. Let's go kill the Theomia. He's good meat. That's what we brought these for. You're level 45. This might be tough, but you know what? We'll try it. Alright. Quick. Kill him. See? Quick. It breaks so quick. Hurry up and die. Tanky little bastard. Getting bloody. Come on. Die. Got him. Alright. And then if you look at your tools, this says... You get meat from bodies with this, and then this is hide. So really, meat's the first thing I want to get. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna chop them up with this so we can get a bunch of meat. Wow, he's dropping a lot of meat. But that's that five times taming that we've got. All right, and stay away from the water. There's one of those uh, pigs that aren't so. Friendly is a Faomia. We're gonna go underneath these guys. Go underneath this guy. And keep your eyes about you. Now the other thing I would like to get while we're here is some metal. Oh god, it's one of those pigs. It's another pig. We're running. We gotta get the F out of dodge. Stay away from the water. The water is not your friend. There are Capros who want to eat your face. And there is a Dilo. We could probably kill that Dilo. Come here, Dilo. Alright. Pivot. And back away. And uh, we're out. We're out of that. Ah, uh, crap. Let's do another Bola. Alright. And then we're gonna hit him with the, the axe. And then we need to get some more spears. Alright, and this guy we're gonna chop up with the axe for more hide. There we go. And let's get some more wood. Because we're gonna need to make some more spears here. And some more 
Flint. What are we missing? Fiber. Okay. And then we get some more fiber by hand. You get that from all of these plants. Alright, got a couple more spears crafting. So because they were on my bar like that, as long as you have the materials in your inventory, if you press the button um, while there's nothing in there, they will basically um, craft. Alright, so the other thing I wanted to get, the reason we came here was for metal, so I'm hoping to find some metal. Nope, 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 that's a raptor pack. They're fast. We're going the other way. Through that. So we are caught between a rock and a hard place. We got, um, I forget what the Deodons, that's what they're called, those pigs with the tusks. They're mean and raptors over there. So we're probably going to take our spoils and get out of here soon because I do have a plan for what our taming order is going to be. So we're going to do the better part of Valor and take what we've got home to the We're south. The that way if we die we don't lose it. Because meat is precious. Hide is precious. So let's get the hell out of here. And then we'll come back. The uh, The first thing I think we're going to want to try and tame though is um, is a bloodstalker. Because they are the best travel pets this game has ever had. They are super versatile. And they're not too hard to tame. And we're out. Haha, -ha, stupid pig. See that? That pig tried. He tried. He was coming. That's why we ran. Coordinates confirmed. Yep. Teleport complete. Alright, now. We're gonna get us a campfire going real quick. And we always do S plus everything. Always do S plus if you have the ability. And we're gonna get all this meat cooking ASAP. We may actually do two campfires to cook it quicker. So we'll do a second one. All right, nice. Let's raise our stamina. And we're gonna put these two campfires down right here. We'll drop campfires right here. Bam, bam. And then we're gonna put the meat, we're gonna half the meat here, split it in half, get some here, split this wood in half, put that in there, light that up. Same thing here, you and you, light that up. And while that's doing that, we're also gonna craft a few more things here. We need a, um, what do they call it, a meat? Preserver, what is it? A preserving bin? Yeah, that's the word. So we're going to see if we can craft a preserving bin. S plus, of course. Get that going. And that way when this meat is cooked, we can throw it in the preserving bin and it'll stay longer. And then to make the preserving bin work, we need what's called spark powder. So we're going to craft um, a mortar and pestle. Of course, the S plus version. Wait, that is the regular version. There's the S plus version. And do that. All right. And then what we will do is we will get these set down real quick. We'll place the preserving bin right here next to these guys. And we'll place the mortar and pestle actually on top of this box. Should be up. Nope, I can't. Okay, I thought we could do it on top of the box, but I guess not. We'll place that right there. And then if we look in the mortar and pestle under consumables. Well, that's not what we want. We want this. We want spark powder. So that's flint and stone. So if we pull enough for, say, 100 of that, it pulled enough for 82. So it's probably all of our flint looking at this. Yeah, that was all of the flint we had in here. But that's okay. We're going to move all this stuff in here real quick. And then we're going to just drop these. They'll get picked up by the, by the barrels. Oh, I didn't mean to do that. I ate that. That's going to make me go to sleep. Why you should be dropping. Weird. 
Oh wait, those are stem berries. That won't make me go to sleep. Anyways, so let's get this crafting. We'll get as many of these going as we can. And then we were going to get this meat out as it cooks. That as well. We will drop that in there. And then actually we're going to, while we do this, let's take, I want to take, probably, let's take the 47. Let's split off the 47 from this 100 stack. Put the 100 stack back in there. Take that meat out. We'll chuck that in the preserving bin. And we will take the spark powder that it's made, chuck that in the preserving bin, and now you'll notice it starts smoking. And the difference is, if you look at this, spoil time is 17 minutes in my inventory. And it'll always spoil off the top of the stack, so it means that you'll spoil one in 17 minutes, and then the next one will go from there. But if you put it in here, spoil time jumps up to um, two days and 56 minutes. Or is it two hours and 56 minutes yeah it's two hours sorry two hours and 56 minutes um so yeah so preserving bin great um that goes in there i meant to go in the campfire and we're gonna take the 44 off of this one too actually let's split 100 off keep the rest for ourselves okay and we'll put that back in there to cook take that take that now the reason we pulled out these 91 is we do need some spoiled meat and we use those to make narcotics to tame animals so we're going to right click on this stack in our inventory and say split all and what it'll do is it because you spoil off the top of the stack it'll make an individual stack of each one so you see they're all spoiling quickly and so in a minute and a half we'll have that much spoiled meat which we can then use to make narcotics so i'm going to sit here real quick let this cook a little bit Actually, we'll just hold off. We'll wait for this to, to finish. And we'll continue doing some picking of stuff while we do that. So yeah, um, modded for me, Ark is an interesting game because I really enjoy it with the right mods. Like with the right mods and the right settings, it's it's one of my favorite games. Probably top five favorite game. Um, but that's right up there with like Minecraft, Seven Days to Die. Um, Borderlands, which is a different kind of game, but still one of my top five favorites. So yeah, I think uh, with PvP I wouldn't enjoy this at all, because I don't like building things to have it destroyed, you know? Or taking time to catch animals and have them killed. Or stolen. These days you get them stolen. Alright, let's see. Almost got this. Let's drop these. Why is it doing... Oh, because I'm hitting zero. That's why. I'm like, why does it keep doing that? Because I'm hitting zero and not... And not... Oh. So you see all my seeds are in here. All my berries are in here. And... Any second now, these are going to... Bam. So now we've got 91 spoiled meat. And what you do is you put the spoiled meat in here. And you go to consumables, drugs... And you say, I want to make narcotics. And we're going to see how much we can pull. If we do 100, it'll pull whatever you have. So we got enough for that. And then we can say, craft 78. And what that'll do then is it'll mix these two together, making narcotics for taming. And narcotics don't go bad, so anytime that you can do use your berries for that, do that. Because see, in here they still are they're going to spoil. All right. We got a good jump here. I'm going to let the rest of this cook, get it into the preserving bin, and then we're going to make another foray back into the swamp, and I'll be back. So I kind of feel like that's a good stopping point here. Um, got a start, got a little base going right here. We got some meat, we got some hide, we made our first foray into the dangerous area, and uh, yeah, I think this is where we'll, we'll stop here. Next time, I think we're going to get started on... Um, collecting blood for the blood stalker tame and then maybe try and go tame a blood stalker right off so that's what we're going to do on the next episode so i hope you guys like this episode i hope you like this for an idea for a new series on the channel if you did do me a favor hit the like button uh that'll really tell me you know like if we see likes versus views because views are great but sometimes people click right out immediately so 
hit that like button. Let me know. Do you want to see this on the channel? Do you want me to continue trying to play this? And if you're not a sub of the channel, go ahead and sub. It's free and it really helps the channel out a lot and you get notifications then whenever I drop a new video. Um, so yeah, hopefully uh, you guys like this because I enjoy this game and I'd like to play it for you. And uh, until next time, you guys be safe. And I'll talk to you later. Bye now.